Thanks very much. Thank you. Mr. Lala, would you like to take a couple of questions in case we have any? Because you, we do have the time. So if you have any question, please raise your hand. Uh, I will come to you with a microphone. Please introduce yourself. And uh, uh, I would uh, suggest that you keep the question as short as possible. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Lala. Very, very good uh, presentation. Anything you are doing in the education industry, I would like to know. <coughs> There are two, three things which we are doing. We have a ISV framework. Okay, so what we do is that uh, we, uh, for educational institute, we uh, have lot of solutions around digital library. Okay, with the ISV framework, we also have multiple solution sets dedicated for the universities. Okay, we are also doing lot of work for interconnected universities. And uh, you know, if you are interested, just drop me your card, and I will get the right person to engage with you to take the discussion forward. There, <coughs> let me just share with you. In the ISV framework, at any particular point in time in a country like India, we have about 17 to 18 micro verticals. <coughs> you know, it can be retail, it can be Jameson Jewelry, it can be education, it can be pharmaceutical, oil and gas, automotive you know, uh, retail, FMCG, you know, core banking, insurance, agriculture. So at any particular point in time across the country, you know, you will see about 17 to 18 micro verticals present. And around this 17 or 18 micro verticals, there will be ISVs who are providing solution sets. So once we know your area of interest, we'll ensure that that ISV comes with us works with us and creates that solution set for you. Yeah. Can I take one last question, sir? Yeah. Thank you. So uh, there was a slide on your presentation which shows map of India and uh, you know it has got different color but the different country's name. So I just wanted to know what is the logic? So obviously this map has not been done by me. Okay. So what it means that you know all these large countries, you know, which are isolated and which are got very powerful recall in our mindset, okay, as the, you know, European countries or, you know, large countries which are actually doing whole lot of things around the areas of technology and stuff like that. What this map conveys is that if you collate all these countries together and put it within India, okay, you know, it is, creates a land of opportunity for you. And if you see today, and you know, if you have seen my slide which shows about the next eight years, and when you actually realize that, you know, GDP is going to be the fastest in India compared to any other country, it just goes to show that India is shining. And that is the messaging which I wanted to give in my slide. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you very much. Can we have a huge round of applause for Mr. Lala, not only for their excellent presentation, but also for being perfectly in time. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, we move on to our next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, transforming the traditional storage environment. We have with us Mr. Harindra Mehta, Dell EMC India. He is the senior systems engineer. So please get your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, as we invite Mr. Mehta on stage. All right, Mr. Mehta has uh, just stepped out. Uh, he is coming in. But in the meantime, as I said, we are going to make this as interesting as possible for you. So, uh, Mr. Lala was talking about change, about creativity, etc. I'm going to throw out a question out into the audience, which requires you to think differently, to think a little uh, creatively, a little laterally. So, my question is very simple. Uh, now, those of you who were with me in Bangalore, please make sure that you do not answer this question. You know the name of the Prime Minister? Yeah, it is uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. Can somebody tell me what was the name of the Prime Minister in 1984? Yes, sir? Indira Gandhi, no. But uh, quite close, I would not say also. Come on, you don't lose anything. Rajiv Gandhi also, no. Narsimha Rao, no. 
नॉट चौधरी नॉट अटल बिहारी नॉट इवन लाल बहादुर शास्त्री नॉट चंद्रशेखर सर नॉट मिस्टर गुजराल नॉट इवन वी पी सिंह नो Indira Gandhi no Gujarat no so uh, the problem is yeah where i asked where i started of this questions i said that you've got to think a little differently a little creatively so now sometimes yeah we read too much my question was very simple what is the name of the prime minister mr narendra modi what was the name of the prime minister in 1984 i could have rephrased this by saying what is the name of the prime minister narendra modi what was his name in 1984 it was still narendra modi can we have a huge round of applause for me thank you <laughs> all right don't worry i've got many more questions and you know what i'm giving away as a prize you've seen these 3d printed taj mahal outside yeah that's 3d printed on the machine over here so we are giving you these 3d printed taj mahals i've got many more questions many more activities during the day but right now ladies and gentlemen mr mehta for you please get your hands together as mr mehta joins us on stage Right. So, uh, good morning, and uh, thank you for e uh, for Ingram for inviting uh, Delhi EMC for this particular event, and uh, thank you for investing your time in this. The session that I am going to take is transforming the traditional storage environment. Uh, my name is Harindra Singh Mehta, and I am a, a senior systems engineer with Dell EMC, based out of back, uh, based out of Delhi. Sorry. So, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, we are going to talk about helping you transform your traditional storage infrastructure which is basically going to be either some hybrid drive hybrid uh, storages or spinning storages with the dell emc uh, all flash technology so we'll talk about that right as soon as i turn on my clicker yeah it's on working right so what is flash storage uh, I mean, flash storage is not brand new. Flash storage has been going on for quite some time. I'm sure a lot of you are also using uh, either all flash storage devices in your data centers, or you are using hybrid uh, flash devices, which are a mix of you know uh, solid state drives and spinning hard drives. So essentially, a flash storage is nothing but it's a computer storage which can essentially be erased and reprogrammed a number of times, and there are a lot of benefits you get out of it. uh the benefits are that unlike a spinning disk it does not have uh, rotational latency you know it does not have uh, seek time so therefore it provides uh, us with a brand new platform on which we can create future storage technologies so why are customers choosing flash uh you talk to dell emc you talk to any of the major storage vendors push towards flash and there is a there is a rationale behind it there is a logic behind it uh the prime benefit that you get out of uh, an all flash appliance number one is that performance uh, like i mentioned before there is there is no rotational latency like spinning drives there is no seek latency and therefore you get a huge amount of performance and also because of moore's performance uh, uh, because of moore's law i'm sorry as we progressed down the years you know e with with flash technology we've also got scale you've got uh, flash drives which come in uh, you know in phenomenal capacities you have 7 terabyte 14 terabyte Uh, flash drives, uh, and because of the size of the flash drives increases, they are they are also becoming affordable, and durability is also increasing along with generations. An IDC survey has found out that almost 10% of the companies are already using all flash storage, but they are not very vocal or public about it, because flash all flash being a disruptive technology, it is something that most of the companies they keep as a secret because it's a business enabler for them. It's something that gives them an edge over the competition, so it, so they're not really talking about it. and also about 80% of the uh, you know of the companies they have a plan in their pipeline to move towards all flash technologies so like i was saying as we go along down the line flash is becoming the dominant storage media uh, so uh, whenever we talk about uh, you know flash as a storage media we are we're talking about your your primary storages your production storages your tier 1 applications So for tier one applications, flash is going to be is becoming a dominant media. 2016 is the inflection point, and going on from here, you will find that 
uh, more and more companies are putting their tier one applications onto flash drives as compared to hard drives. And the reason for this, and the reason for this is that on a per gigabyte basis, uh, SSDs are becoming cheaper than 15K RPM flash drives. And 2016, as you all notice, is the crossover point where going forward from 2016, the per gigabyte price of flash is actually going to be much lesser than 15K RPM hard drives. So in case you're investing in a storage technology today, which you intend to use for the next five years, you can be assured that two years down the line, if you've invested in an all spinning storage, you would have uh, wasted more money than you would have actually invested in an all flash storage. And that is why uh, Dell EMC is considering 2016 as the year of all flash. Because 2016 onwards, uh, it does not make sense at all to keep your tier one primary applications on spinning drives. So, but is that, is that enough? I mean, is, uh, you know, but is, is having flash in your data center, in your servers, or in your storages, is that enough? Uh, what is flash? Flash is nothing. Uh, it is essentially a chip, and uh, anyone can take this, uh, take a nice PCB board, stick a couple of NVRAMs on it along with the CPU, and package it in a, you know, in a metal container, and then uh, form an SSD. And this SSD is then used in various devices. It is used in end user devices, it is used in servers, as well as it is used in storage. But what is the intelligence? What is the, the fact that gives intelligence to your flash media? And the thing that enables flash media is the architecture and software. The architecture of how your storage is designed and what all are the software features that are running in it that give you that particular kind of TCO, the return on investment that makes sense for you. In terms of architectures, we have uh, Dell AMC has two kind of architectures. There is an architecture which is called scale out in which you have predictable, predictable performance uh, you know, as you keep on uh, scaling out the storage. And then we also have an architecture which is, which in which you can start low, but then you can scale up as in when your needs change. So we have two kinds of architectures. And then we have uh, different software features, you know, which, uh, which help you in getting a better return of investment out of your storage. We have deduplication, we have completion, high availability, business continuity, you want to do a zero data loss, three-way disaster recovery solution, you want to do two-site disaster recovery, uh, Dell EMC can help you with all of that. And it is the software which delivers personality to the devices that Dell EMC manufactures. It is the software, say for example, we have a software called Scale.io and also we have uh, VMware vSAN that gives a personality to your normal server and can convert it into a software-defined storage. Or in case you want to go in for traditional storages, it is the software which gives the personality. And then we have multiple offerings. Uh, EMC, uh, Dell EMC does not believe in a one size fits all kind of an approach, depending on what your workload is. We have different kind of storage solutions. You can go for extreme IO, you can go in for uh, EMC Unity all flash, a VMAX all flash, DSSD, or you can go for the uh, Dell SC series as well. And like I said, you know, we do not have a one size fits all approach. And the basis for that is that we always try to understand from the customer, what are you trying to achieve from your storage? We all understand storage is going to service a workload. Unless and until there is information of workload that we have, we cannot, we cannot be in a position to you know, propose a particular storage for you. And what we want to understand from you is what are your application workloads? Every data center has got different kind of application workloads. Uh, they're either performance demanding, you have OLTB databases, or you have, uh, you know, Hadoop running, which will be performance in demanding, or you would have capacity demanding uh, workloads. At the same time, you can also, you have traditional workloads, every data center has got traditional workloads and cloud native workloads. So depending on our discussion with you and our understanding of the workload, we are able to propose an all flash storage for you which can service either kind of workloads, traditional or cloud native. Uh, now, obviously, uh, it goes without saying that whenever you're looking for a flash storage device, you would be looking for a performance intensive workload. So for all your performance intensive workloads, we have uh, you know, multiple offerings that we have in the all flash uh, portfolio. 
and we give you solutions which are uh, you know which start from very low which are uh, which help you enter into the enterprise solutions using all flash running advanced data services aligned to your workloads whatever your workload be it vdi be it hadoop be it analytics we have uh, solutions which are tailor made for your particular workload uh, all of our solutions are able to uh, scale depending on your growth requirements they're able to scale unrivaled performance and unmatched simplicity we also have uh, an industry leading program by the name of the expect more uh, from your investment program uh, Dell EMC was the first in the market to launch this which is called lifetime flash endurance protection essentially each and every uh, solid state drive that you use in a all flash storage or in a hybrid storage has a, a wear cycle you know it is certified for a finite number of write cycles uh, and a lot of vendors essentially uh, they tell you that in case the but that particular drive has uh, run has exhausted its write cycles uh, then they would not be able to replace it because it is a wear and tear uh, whereas emc dell emc we guarantee you that for the lifetime of your storage as long as your storage is uh, under support from emc we will replace each and every hard drive which has failed irrespective of the reason that it has failed even if it is it has uh, you know run out of its uh, if it has run off its write cycles even then we will replace it uh, we have something called lifetime maintenance price protection uh, whenever you're buying uh, a Dell EMC device we fix a maintenance pr maintenance price point it doesn't increase year on year uh, that is something you have and then we have a three year money back warranty uh, in case we guarantee you a certain amount of performance based on our analysis of your environment uh, for the next three years in case we are not able to meet that particular performance requirement then uh, we have a money back warranty going on that uh, you can go to emc.com slash expect more to find out the uh, further details on this particular program. We have uh, the number one all flash uh, position in the market. If you look at uh, Gartner's Magic Quadrant or you look at IDC numbers, uh, Daily EMC is the number one selling all flash uh, storage in the market. Number one purpose built all flash array. Uh, Based on our data reduction capabilities, we can give you up to 50% lower OPEX and CAPEX. All of our storages are guaranteed for, five, uh, for 6, 9 availability. Uh, we have some of the world records in uh, the fastest storage for databases. Lowest cost per gigabyte for, uh, for the all flash devices. And Dell EMC is also one of the few companies which invests a lot of their revenue back into R&D so that we can give you better uh, you know, equipment and better software year after year. So in a nutshell, how do we transform your traditional storage environment? We can transform your traditional storage environment by giving you a storage portfolio. So this is something that we always harp on. Dell EMC always has a storage portfolio. We do not have one product and various items.